the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see you for your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. I've just read from the book of Matthew chapter 5 verses 13 through 16 and may God add a blessing to the hearing and the understanding of his word. Let us bow for a quick prayer. Most holy and divine Father, I come right now, Lord, just asking you to uplift your word, God, so that your word will be useful to our understanding and useful to our life, God, so that we'll have a, a plan for living. I ask that you open up and brighten us up so that we'll be shining throughout this world in your name and that you would continue to keep us in flavor with you as long as we are in agreement and, and in line with your will for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Today we're talking about salt. And when we're talking about salt and when we're talking about flavor, we're actually talking about your connection between you and Christ. Mm -hmm. Because if there is absolutely no connection, no emotions, no feeling between you and Christ, then you have no flavor in you. You have no salt. It says here that if a seasoning like salt, paprika, or whatever we used to cook with, that Sharon's been getting all kind of compliments on seasoning. Because mm -hmm. seasoning does a lot to food as well as it does to character of a person. All right. Because if a person is seasoned well in Christ, strong fed by his words, all right, then they are very useful and have a lot of flavor. It can be used to uplift and to saute a lot of people's lives that have nothing to use and nothing that feels like it can help uplift them. So you have to use your salt sometime to uplift. Mm -hmm. You have to use what God has given you to spread out into this world right. to help someone else be uplifted. See it? it says that because if that salt has no value and if Christians who we claim to be today now, if you claim to be a Christian today, this is obtaining to you. But for all those that do not claim to be Christian, this word of God has nothing to do with you. Everything I'm saying in this book does not obtain to you, so you will not get an understanding or a knowledge or anything from God's word if you're not part of it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Now, if Christians make no effort to afflict this world, no effort to go around and tell anyone about the grace of God and how good he is and what he has done for you, then they are of little value to God. Mm -hmm. In other words, he didn't say what they were of no value to me. He said they were of little value to me. All right. It's not much that they can do to uplift my Christian world it's not much they can do to enhance anyone with a little bit of that savory God blessing. Mm -hmm. Nothing that we can do if we're not connected to him. All right. And how do we do that? Through love and charity with our neighbors. Through love and charity with our families, our friends. We have to have a strong connection. It says that there are six ways. Six ways to think like Christ. And we have to wonder, well, I'm not Jesus, so I can't be as good as Jesus was. But yeah, you can be close because it said that there are six ways to be and think like Christ. Mm -hmm. For example, and you can write the scripture if you choose to. If not, you can call and I can get back to you. And if you need a piece of paper, I'd be happy to give it to you in a pen. It says, for an example, a murder... It says that it is not enough to avoid killing a person. It's not enough to just avoid doing it. 
but we must also avoid the anger, anger and the hatred that we have developed to want to commit this murder. Get us there, right. Mm -hmm. See, these are things that we have to avoid is our nasty attitudes that cause us to be so far away from love. Right. Because God is love. Mm -hmm. And the only way to obtain closeness from him is to become one that loves one another. All right. Without that strong love for one another, then you are losing your flavor. Mm -hmm. You must have a heart of love. You must have strength. You must have growth. Like we said last Sunday, you must have a will to change your character. All right, now. See, if you don't have a will to change your character to do better, then you are of little use also to God. Mm -hmm. So it's not also about how much flavor you have to offer to others, but it's also about willing to offer to others, willing to change so that you'll be of use to others. Amen. We have to evolve. Yeah, got to. Mm -hmm. Something we don't want to do. The second says adultery. It says avoid adultery. And I don't think we have anybody in here committing adultery other than that. <laughs> 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 but it says, keep our hearts from lusting and be what? Faithful to one another. Mm -hmm. How can you maintain faithfulness towards one another? A strong, open connection. Mm -hmm. And that connection should come from the top to you. Mm -hmm. And that connection starts with the Word of God. Right. Because we don't start out knowing God. Mm -hmm. We don't start out automatically believing in God. But we start out like they are, with stepping stones towards Christ. All and right. by the time Amen. you get to where Christian and Gabe are, you know who he is. And now it's your chance to change your character to live the way that he would have you to live. Mm. See, that's things that we don't want to do is change our character. Mm. We don't want to live right. We want to live earth. The third one says divorce. Mm. Divorce, something I have taken part in and not my will. Something my brother has taken part in and not his will. Amen. Wasn't our will to receive those, but it's the way it came because we was not what? Equally yoked yep. to someone that was willing to follow the what? Said Light. All right now. See, you got to be willing. I like that, amen. Got to be willing. Mm -hmm. Got to be willing to follow the light. And I can truly say that we've been blessed mm -hmm. with husband and wife Amen. that is willing to walk the walk, walk that we walk. Amen. Amen. See, All and right. then they was blessed for someone to walk the walk that they was willing to walk. Mm -hmm. And it made us equally young. Amen. And so Amen. when you bring up your young, you bring them up in the way that what? God shall have them to grow, not in the way that the world will have them to go. Because the world tell you, Gucci, Lucci, Fucci, Tucci, if you ain't got it, you ain't. Mm -hmm. But that's what the world wants you to have. Right. What God wants you to have is nothing except for the grace of God in your heart, and he'll supply all your what? Your Amen. needs. Amen. He said, don't go seek it out, because I'm a seeker. Hmm. I like everything, so I won't say everything, and I like everything. But I got enough character to know that I ain't going to have everything. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to receive everything. But I got enough heart of God to know that I can walk and work and go get it. Amen. Amen. See, it's ways to seek and to receive. Mm -hmm. Not just through the grace of God, but through hard work. All right. Through taking care of the things that you have, and you won't have to worry about going to get the new ones. Mm -hmm. See, we got to stop wanting the rich man's gifts. Because if you remember what God said... It's harder for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven than it is for a camel to get through the eye of a needle. Have you ever seen a needle that you sew with with the sewing kit? Put the thread in it. How little that is when you put the thread. You ever seen a camel with the two humps? Do you think that it would be easy for that camel to squeeze through the needle? No. That's very hard. It's impossible. It is impossible. But it is easy if you trust in God mm -hmm. and spread his word and rely on him to enter into the kingdom of heaven. We think it's hard. It's easy. But it takes what? Work. It takes want. It takes change. And if you don't want to change your character and live according to God's will, then that's fine with God. 
Because God is a good God of love, agape love. He loves you enough to accept the fact that you don't love him. But he also told you what the outcome is for your punishment. Mm -hmm. See, he loves you, but your punishment is hell. Damnation and eternal. You remember when it got cold and we built the fireplace? And everybody stood around and saw hot, how hot and red it was. And how we talked about it. we don't want to live in a place like that. That's hell. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If you choose to be bad and hard-headed, you'll think you're living in hell on earth. Because you'll be in so much trouble. You'll get into so many things that you'll think that God knows nothing about you. But that's the choice that you got to make to change your character and change your will and change your ways. Mm -hmm. Get ready for God. The next, which is something we do every day, church, don't make oaths. Don't take oaths. Don't make promises. Don't say, I'm going to do it. I swear to God I'm going to do it in Jesus' name, and my mother's name, on my children, on the grave, on the church, on Jerusalem, on the Lord himself, on Jesus. Don't do it. God said, don't do it. And he said, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Not do it sometimes, but don't do it. And if you have done it, then you better keep that oath. Mm -hmm. Well, I promise I'm going to come over there and take you up another mile. <laughs> well, what you crazy? You should have said, well, Lord knows I'm going to try my best to take you over there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But if you don't see me, I wasn't able to do it. Yeah. But once you promise and swear to the grace of God and on all the children in the house, you got to do it. Because what you're doing to their lives, putting an oath on them. All right. You're putting an oath on That's a curse mm -hmm. when you don't live up to God's word. Okay. Not like that. Can't do Amen. it. Can't do it. It says that avoid... Avoid casual and irresponsible comments to God. Mm -hmm. Don't be saying stupid stuff. Lord, I tell you the truth. If I get them brand new shoes today, I'm going to oh, church on I Sunday. Know. Oh, my God. Really well, ain't that a dumb oat and a casual, irresponsible something that you're telling God if you get them brand new shoes? Mm -hmm. In other words, you better get me them brand new shoes if you want me in church on mm -hmm. Sunday. All right, now. All you trying right. to tell God? Mm -hmm. What better happened in order for you to serve him mm. when God has gave his only begotten son to suffer wrath and pain and agony and grief and misery and murderous feelings and emotions because he took on all of what we had done. Mm. And you think he's going to go through all of that agony just for you to say, if I get some shoes, I'll go to church Sunday. Mm. Mm. If I got something to wear, I'll go to church Sunday. All right. You're going to die. And you might die naked, and what you going to do if you ain't got nothing to wear then? You're still going to hell. Mm. Or, God willing, you're going to hell. <coughs> it don't matter what you have on your back or what you want. What matters is the life you live and what you desire from All right, it. amen. I desire God's will, not God's wrath. If amen. God's will for me is to suffer a little wrath, then I want to suffer that wrath with dignity. Mm -hmm. I want to say, Lord, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, our lights went out. Yeah, we didn't have no water. Yeah, we didn't have nowhere to stay. Yeah, we had to stay in the church. <laughs> me and my husband and my kids done did all that. It emotionally fills me. Because mm -hmm. even though he saw us, through amen, it, amen. he put us in another place to live. Amen. And he worked it out. Mm -hmm. And we was there until we had to come here. Mm -hmm. And it was working. And it's working and it'll continue to work if you live according to God's will and his plan. Amen. You've got to be willing to suffer sometimes Amen. in order to grow a lot. Amen, Lord. I can tell you, my so sister, mm. my sister, because I don't we don't do that. What sister? Sister in law. Yes. <laughs> That's my sister. I don't do sister in law. Once you married, my brother, you're my sister. Mm -hmm. And I love my sister. And my sister done went through a triangle of emotions. And guess what she did? She walked to the light, walked through it, and said, I'm going to continue to follow it. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting the loss of not one family member that made it to the grace of glory keep me out of glory. Oh, yeah, see, that's the thing. you got to seek what you are looking for. All right. And if you ain't looking for nothing, God already knows it because you ain't seeking nothing, and he don't even know you in the first place. Mm. Amen. Just because he know who you are don't mean he know who you are mm -hmm. until you show him who you are. And if you show him that I ain't nothing, don't care nothing about you, God, God is saying, yeah, and that's it. Then you get to live the life that you choose. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it really works. Amen. If you really want God to shake 
you off of him. Like dust on your feet, you'll continue to lead the same life. You'll continue to live the same life. You'll continue to act the same way. You'll continue to keep the same heart. You will not grow. You will not gain. And you will not make it into the kingdom 